week six right. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. I'm Kimberly Jolly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and this week we're working on Lori Holt's Quilter's Cottage. This is the beautiful artwork that she has, and this is what um, we've been stitching. We're on week six. So this week we're going to be working on the cobblestone and the flowers. So um, kind of what I'm going to do today is just start, um, give you some tips, kind of tell you my little tips and stitch, and then we can just chat while I'm stitching. Uh, next week we will be working on the trees and the bushes, if you want to get ahead. So this is the front of her pattern. It's beautiful. We're stitching today on her burlap 10 count. And I am using her B Basics RF Floss Box. We also have thread packs and DMC. So I'm going to just kind of turn to the side and start stitching and we can start talking. Um, kind of what I'm doing is I know a lot of you guys are going to ask, so I think I thought it was easiest to do the cobblestone first since that's the center, and I had some questions on if I carried my thread over between it, and I did. So you can see, like between the cobblestones, I did carry it because I couldn't see it on the front, and I also did that because I was in a hurry. And I had to get ready for today. Then what I did is I did all the green. I'm going to do all the greens first. And then the yellows. And then the flowers. So that's the order that I would go in. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the flowers. So for the back, if you see, this is how I did the green and the yellow. So you can see my stitches. I just started, ended, and hid my stitches. And... I'm going to go ahead and start with this little flower. I've got my thread already ready. And then we're going to try to be, I'm going to try to turn where you can see kind of my angle. There we go. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. And we do have some questions that were submitted. Um, from last week okay so to start real quick I am going to I'm going to start the flower but I need to anchor it so I'm going to go ahead and anchor this that's what I call it underneath this green that I've already stitched and start that way and then I'm going to start stitching and then we can do some questions so I think on this one, what I'll do is I'm going to do the complete stitch. And I have, of course, my thread is a little too long. I feel like any time I go on camera with you guys, I've got something too long. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do some half stitches and then go around and then we can start after, after I've got this going. Everyone's saying good morning. Uh, Lori Holt says good morning from Salt Lake. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I've got to cut my thread back because I have a knot, of course. I never get knots except when I film with you guys, seriously. So I'm going to cut this shorter. So, um, I'm, okay, so now I'm ready for questions, sorry. Alright, um, give me one second to make sure everyone's getting the stream. Okay, lovely. Alright, um, so first question, um, I guess this is a question for them, is uh, what would they like to know about Cross Stitch Market? So, a couple of you guys asked about the needle mark, the needlework Cross Stitch Market. I'm going to unstitch this because I don't like the way my stitch looked. So Cross Stitch Market is in, or Needle Work Market, it's in an Embassy Suites and four floors are booked and each of the vendors put a little sign outside their room and you can go in the room and look at their products and they decorate like the windows so you can kind of see what you're 
see what kind of products they're going to have and um, it takes about three or four hours to go through all of it which is you know not very long and I liked meeting everybody it was really it was really nice so yeah if you'll have other specific questions I can answer not everybody goes like Little House doesn't go Country Cottage Needleworks doesn't go um, but like Hands on Design was there Blackbird with a needle And maybe we'll go next year for Lori. We'll see. All right. Uh, next question is from April Jackson. She says, is there a cheat sheet on how much of each floss to use when stitching on a particular cloth? Um, most patterns will tell you how many that you should use if you're using the same exact cloth. If you're using a bigger cloth like Lori's, you can just double it or just eyeball it. I kind of just look at the pattern. If I think I need an extra one, I'll buy an extra one. Um, I want to make sure I have the same dye lot. So if when in doubt, I will buy a second amount. But um, I would just say start with the pattern, see what the pattern says, and go from there. So it's not... Um, it's not an exact science. Sometimes in the pattern it'll have a parentheses and it'll say two, like parentheses, two parentheses, and that means two spools or two skeins. And we do list in all of Lori's patterns how many are a floss or how many DMC you need. Um, and let's see, a question from Debbie. She says, what lap frame do you recommend? So I'm using a Q-Snap. Today I'm using an 11 by 11, which is this little thing. It's the brand that I like. Um, if you wanted something that would connect to a Q-Snap, we're kind of researching that right now to see what would be best. Um, we haven't found anything that we love 100% yet. But I like the Q-Snap. There are some off-brands at both Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and I have tried them and do not like them. I love the Q-Snaps. So um, I have all the sizes. I have six by six, 11 by 11, 11 by 17. You'll see on this, this, we're gonna have to go up next week. So I will show you next week kind of a way to, if you want to just use your 11 by 11 and keep going a cheat, a cheat way, or, um, I'll just show you how to go to 11 by 17. I'll show you both of that next week. All right. Uh, question from Juanita. She says, do any of you ever add your cross stitch to front or backing of the quilt? No, I would not put cross stitch on a quilt, but um, if you wanted to do it more like we're working on those videos right now, we've got to stitch some stuff up to put on the sticky board so that we can really show you how you can use the sticky board at your home. It will work better more as a real video rather than a live stream. All right. Um, I guess we're having some issues with our feed at the moment. Um, it should connect in just a second. Okay. And uh, someone was asking, I don't understand how the backing board works. The sticky board. So that was what I just oh, okay. answered. So we'll do more of a a fat quarter shop floss tube video that's not a live stream on that and we'll show we'll probably do a couple of those over time because there's lots of ways you can use that and uh, Jamie says this is just an idea what about a cross stitch pattern of the eat sleep quilt repeat t-shirt yeah we can add that to our list we have two cross stitches two cross stitch patterns by Lori in the works right now actually four no actually three now so we can add that as the fourth one so Lori is watching she can um, it yeah we can add that to her list All right. and um, Lori Hubert says could you find some cross stitch patterns of chickens or cows so we have a really cute cow pattern on order that Priscilla um, and Chelsea showed last week. It's a brand new, I can't think of who the designer is because it's a designer we haven't carried before. And we are ordering a chicken pattern too. So yes, we have that 
in our list. Some of them are brand new, so we have ordered them. They just have not shipped. So there's my flower. I like how it looks. Um, it just took about maybe five minutes to do that. I'm going to hide my threads, but I'm going to make sure my blue does not go behind my yellow because I don't want that to show through. So I'm going to, I'm right-handed, so I'm kind of getting in the way, but I'm going to just hide it, hide that thread under the blue. And I want it to go, I, that's a few too too few stitches for me so I'm going to go back through a couple more making sure I don't go through the yellow and then clip it right on the edge these are my favorite scissors these little omni grids um, it's pretty much all I use so that is my denim and I'm going to look at the color of my necks real quick and get that threaded and I can answer some more questions uh, next question is from Crystal. She says, uh, will you be carrying cloth that looks like shiplap here in the next month or so? I'm going to have to ground myself from shopping soon as I keep ordering. Afraid you will run out and I still want the gardening ones when they're loaded. Also, is there a cross stitch for soccer? Will you be looking at doing some of the sports or dance ones at a later date? Okay, so first the shiplap has not been produced yet. They are working on that and we are first on the list to get that. So we will have shiplap and we will have some of their other designs. It will probably be one to two months before we get that. Sports, I haven't seen anything that I love enough. They're all a little too kiddish for my liking. And what was the other question? Sorry. Um, the other one was, uh, will you have any cross stitch for soccer or dance? Yeah, so those, I haven't found anything that I like enough, so not yet. Okay. And question from Chart. She says, I'm a beginner. Did y'all have to rip and rip when you first started? I've used up all my threads, so I bought DMC to be able to complete it. Um, I started when I was like 10 years old, so I cannot remember what I did when I was 10. But like I say and everything is just practice, 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 and be patient. Um, it's okay to not be perfect. But yeah, I say just practice and just go slow. Okay. I know that this might drive some of you guys crazy because I do the stick and stab method. I guess that's what you call it um, instead of the sewing method. Um, I do the sewing method sometimes, but today I'm, I'm not. And sorry my hand keeps getting in the way. I'm right-handed, so that's kind of the way it goes. I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of how I move my thread and my needles so that you don't, um, I don't carry through the back where you won't see, um, you won't see anything poking through. And all the flowers are the same, so I can actually just follow the first. Well, actually, the tops are all the same, not the bot, not the bottoms. All right. And next question is from Sherry Bing. Uh, she says, "I'm done for after you shared the cross to tell from the weekend and all other pictures I saw on Instagram. Are you going to try to do some of the hand dyed threads with your mania now that you are going to try linen?" I'm not. I'm not going to do the hand dyed. I love DMC and Cosmo and RF Floss, and I found a Krennic silk that I like that I'm going to start using. Um, I just don't like the look of hand dyed, so I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. Um, we've had some requests for us to carry that in the store, which I'm not opposed to. So that'll probably be later in the year. We'll probably start carrying that, um, but it's just a personal preference. I um, don't want to have to think too much when I stitch and the hand dyed I feel like you have to really think because you know if it's a flower you want to go in a circle if it's a door you want to go up and down and that's all great and good but I just I don't have time to like sometimes that stuff will just it'll kill me my OCD so it's easier for me to just stitch with DMC or our floss or, or Cosmo and um, we're trying to see if that barn wood will come in Ada so that I don't have to try linen. And it's so funny because so many of y'all are so nice and you're like, oh, I can show you. And I'm like, I know how to do it. I just have really bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. So um, if I had perfect eyesight, I think I would do it. 
I just have really bad eyesight to where I just don't want to mess with it. But y'all are so sweet to want to help me. <laughs> if y'all want to stitch it for me, I'm all for that. Y'all just stitch it up and then I don't have to do anything. That would be great. <laughs> That's funny. That would be probably the only way that I could do it. And we had lots of people asking, what is mania? Okay, so we're going to talk about mania at the end. I'm going to kind of, I have a whole thing. So I don't want to start on that or I won't shut up. So yes, I totally have that for the end. I have a whole bucket over here. I was at uh, Michael's at like 8.30 last night. and Because um, our DMC order still has not come in. And so... Even Kim really goes to Michael's. I know. Yes, I do go to Michael's. And the, I always end up going to like four or five Michael's because there's never enough. And if I go to Joann's, I can usually get all of it at Joann's. But... Um, the Joann's does not happen to be near where I live or it's actually near work but I kind of think it's a little shady um, I, last time I was there I saw people like um, trying to get into other cars and so oh. I'm pretty like um, I'm, I, I pretty much yeah I'm not going back there for a while That's scary unless Kevin goes with me and Denise was with me and she can verify because we were like, should we call 311? Oh my There's God. people trying to get in cars. Yeah, it was not. It was not good. Um, April Jackson was asking, what does it mean by sampler on patterns? So what I think it means, a sampler just means, I think that a sampler means it's got ABCs. And a sampler is more of kind of what was popular in the 1800s and 1700s. It was ABCs and it was you taught your kids how to stitch and when they stitch they learn their ABCs at the same time that's what I think it means and there's another question coming up that I'm gonna go ahead and answer so Lily doesn't have to ask it is somebody asked about what is going on with the ABCs and why are there so many and I just don't get it and that's okay like you don't have to like everything out there um, samplers is a big thing um, at cross stitch mark cross stitch market or needle point market or whatever you call it there were samplers everywhere like it was like sampler town um so i just think it's like kind of the theme of cross stitch and people like it and i think it's just a thing in cross stitch um i sometimes like it and sometimes don't but i i the antique ones i think they're beautiful and i think to me they're art um in my time of like this has abcs um but any of those really hard samplers i'm not doing that because that is, um, I don't have the time to finish and I don't ever want to start something I can't finish. So that's why I don't. But yeah, it's just a theme. It's just like in quilting. There's flowers and text on everything. So in cross stitch, there's ABCs on everything. Mm -hmm. Kind of the same thing. And uh, actually, Lori had some input on the sampler question. She says, samples are how cross stitch came about. All school girls were required to do a sampler to learn the letters and numbers and motifs. Yep. That's, yep. Uh, and then next question from Bonnie is, I want to know more about gritting, please. So gritting, we have decided we're going to do that as a fat quarter shop floss tube that is not live. Uh, it's not easy to explain and I um, I don't grid so I think it's um, something that we can do in the future on a video that is not live uh, but you can just go on YouTube right now if you want and look up you know how to grid how to grid cross stitch I think it's an unnecessary step and I tried it one time and I just think it leaves extra lines on your fabric that you don't need. So it's not a thing that I, that I um, do. So we just, we'll do it. We're just not going to do it live because if I do it live, I'm going to totally mess it up. And y'all are going to ask me questions that I don't know the answer to. So to make myself look good, I'm going to not do that live. <laughs> so I'm going to look like an idiot. You can buy some pre-gridded Ada. And then when you're done, you can wash it out. Um, we do have that on order. It just hasn't arrived yet. And if you do that, you want to make sure you don't use hand-dyed thread because hand-dyed thread is not always color fast. So you don't want to like wash. To get the lines out, you have to wash. Um, 
And let's see, next question is uh, from Connie. She says, any tips on doing the flowers so no thread shows through the back? Oh, and this is what you're showing. Yep. Um, and then April Jackson was also asking, what is it with all the alphabet features? I love the cross-stitching patterns, but then I see all the alphabet on it and I get confused. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, that's what we just talked okay. about. Perfect. Um, and then Debbie was asking, are you going to show us how to mark the fabric? That's grading. Like so, it? yep, we'll do that. And, and uh, Lorraine was asking, I'm wondering if you did all the cobblestones individually or if there's a way to carry your thread over to the next one. What did you do? So that's what I showed in the beginning. Okay. And you can see it up close here. I can show you here. So I did, you can see where I did carry over. And the way that I decided if I would do that is when I was stitching, basically I look at the front and I put my hand behind it because when you're when you frame something you're going to have something behind it and if I can see the thread travel I will not travel but I could not see the thread and so when it's framed I don't think you'll see it um, if I was you know had a ton more time I probably would have done those individually but I was doing this at like six o'clock last night to get ready for today so um, but but yeah I'm happy with it I think it looks good and I um, if I had to redo it, I would do it the same, where I carry it. It's totally fine. Okay. But like the red, if it was red, I probably wouldn't, because the red, you know, I do think you would see the red, but the gray is very similar to the tan. So um, I don't think there'll be any problems with seeing that. Okay. Um, and that's all the questions we had previously submitted. We've been getting some... Uh, during the live stream. Let me just pull those up. Okay. Uh, the first question from Rebecca Sewing, she said, um, oh, she had said so she finally figured out Instagram, so she has the picture posted on Facebook and Instagram, and she doesn't want us to think that she's double entering for the drawing. Uh, but somebody else was confused as to whether they should post their Quilters Cottage hashtag on Instagram or Facebook or both. Either or both, whatever you want to do. We just go through all of them and pick pick someone. And the next question is from Vicki. She says, how many strings of floss are you using? On the, okay, so right, right now I'm working on Lori Holt's 10 count Ada in the burlap color, and I am using six or a floss. Some people, if you're using DMC, you could use four or six or whatever you think looks best. And I, that's one thing that I really like about this cloth is the, the thread comes on six, six strands so I don't have to separate anything. I just take the spool, take it off, and I'm ready to go. I don't have to do anything. Okay, next question. Let me pull it up here. Oh, uh, shout out to Priscilla and Chelsea who said uh, they are both loving the culture's cottage and your progress is beautiful. Thank you. Um, and then Mary Town says, what is the button in the corner of your piece? Oh, so this is a little needle nanny. So a needle nanny has a magnet on the back and it's a magnet on the front. So, and this is Quilter's Cottage. So this, Lori made this for quilt dots. And so what would happen, for example, when I leave my project, I would just leave my needle on there and then when I put it in my plastic bag when I come back my needle is just there and the good thing is if you're on the back sometimes I'll put my needle on the back um, so it's just it's a way to um, store your needle when you're not using it and it's a magnet and it's cute because it matches what we're sewing so we just got these in this week and I, a lot of you guys are asking about the piggy needle menders, and we're going to make them. We're just trying to find some magnets. The, magnet, the magnets are what cost a lot of money, because I've already paid for the buttons. Um, but we've got to find the magnets in bulk, and once we find those magnets in bulk, we're going to just make them one day. All right. And then the next question is from Vicki. She says, how many strings of floss are you using? Oh, okay. Sorry, we answered that. That was a duplicate. Uh, Lisa Dye says, can you color dye Lori Holt's Daisy Vintage Cross Stitch Cloths? 
yeah you can you can dye any cloth and at the end I'm gonna show um, some stuff that we dyed here not we one of my employees dyed Terry and also um, give you a link to the Priscilla and Chelsea video where they give you a tutorial on how to do that we're gonna add a link I don't know if we've already added the link but we will add the link to their video Next question is uh, from Gabriel Fontes. He says, I bought the tiny modernist Halloween pattern and I want to stitch all four designs on the same Ada cloth. Any advice on how to do that? I would do, yeah, I would do top, well, I would just start top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. I would just stitch in the corners, but I would kind of maybe count hard to show or hard to talk through. I would kind of count and mark, you know, how many stitches. Um, make sure you've got enough room. And you could just stitch it all at one time. Or you could cut it down into sets of four. Whatever's more convenient for you. Um, like Priscilla and Chelsea, they'll stitch, they'll have a whole yard of fabric and they'll stitch on a full yard so they don't waste anything. Um, I would probably cut it down just because um, I feel like I'm a hot mess most of the time and I've got like before I even set up for filming I've got bags everywhere I'm like the bag lady <laughs> um, so I think like I've got so many so much floss going on and so much of a mess already I would probably cut it down into fours but I would maybe use a stitch gauge and um, just make sure you've got enough Okay, you answered it. He re asked that question. Okay, next question. Um, Joan was asking, did you and Lori Holt cross stitch on the plane when you guys went to market? I stitched on the plane. Lori crocheted on the plane, but we were not on the same plane because we live in different states, but yes. And then we did that in our hotel rooms too. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, in response to the eat, sleep, quilt, repeat cross stitch, Lori said, we can have it say, eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she also said, cute flower, Kimberly. Thanks. And then, uh, Kia B was asking, when will all the colors of DMC be available in Fat Quarter Shop? I tried to order some yesterday and they aren't listed. I want to support you girls. We don't know. We um, we will follow up today. We that it's really hard to get it. I'll just say that we ordered it like three months ago. Oh, so um, we're waiting for it to just show up. But yes, we will follow up today and see where it is because I feel you. I had to go to Target. I had to go to Michaels <laughs> at eight thirty. And then when I was paying, I think the guy behind me was super annoyed because I had like literally like eighty skeins, and he was just like, because they have to they have to. They have to um, scan them individually because of the colors. And the guy's just like, come on. I kind of thought it was funny. Okay. Um, and then Deona Payne was saying, can really you make this look so easy? Um, and Deb was saying, with stitching in hand, how do you make sure you have enough A to cloth and you start in the correct spot? It's the same as if you were using a Q snap with the Q snap you just need a little bit more to hold on I would say just have three to four inches all the way around and um, I think it's the same as anything else just take your stitch count usually the pattern will say you know your stitch count is 70 by 80 or something you can just count 70 and 80 kind of mark it you could even mark it with a you could just mark it by putting a needle in like there's the top of your 70 there's the bottom of your 70 you know something have four needles around it and then just count three inches outside and then surge it or whatever you're gonna do to make it not ravel and if you were using a q-snap you might you know you just want to make sure you have enough for whatever size q-snap you have and let's see. next question uh, from just ducky says did you travel on the yellow flowers no no, so I'll show you on the back again. So I did, at the beginning of the video, I showed what I did is I did all my greens 
and then I did my yellows and I started and stopped all of those and now I'm just doing my colors and then I'll do the same exact thing on the other side I didn't get all of these done so I'm going to finish up this flower and then show you all the other stuff I have for this week and then um, while I'm stitching this I'll answer the rest of your questions but I have a ton more stuff to show you guys and this is my favorite thread right here. This aqua is my, it's the best aqua. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Next question is from Chris E. Uh, they say, why don't you use the loop method with six strands or floss? Um, because you have to, you have to uh, separate three strands and three strands and I just don't want to do it. And I don't think you need to. So, I mean, but like anything, like do whatever you want to do. Like I do whatever, when I stitch, I do whatever is going to give me the prettiest look. That's the first thing that I care about. The second thing I care about is what is the quickest because I don't have a lot of time. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of time on my hands. So whatever I can like stitch, whip together is great. And the next question is from Sia Joy. They say, Kimberly, can you please talk about your stitches? I see some different steps with the flowers. Uh, I think you already covered that. Yeah, I'm just traveling. It's just the way I'm traveling, and I'm just traveling so that I'm just traveling. Sometimes I do full stitches, sometimes I don't. And I'm just traveling so that all my thread, like, I don't want to travel between the points, point to point, because then I'll have thread behind here. So I'm just traveling so none of my thread um, goes behind the yellow and it just stays behind the thread I'm stitching on, the color. And all I really care about is that the, the L's, the X's all go left, right, or they all go the same direction. It doesn't, the other part doesn't matter. And next question is from Jean Riley. Oh, it's more of a suggestion. She says, have you gone to Hobby Lobby? There was an entire section of DMC. So oh. she's recommending Hobby Lobby for that, if need be. Uh, and Candy Kerr says, is there a tip for making the X look like an X? Practice, practice, practice. And make sure your thread is not um, wavy. If your thread is wavy, it's gonna look ugly. It's not going to look as straight. And next question is from uh, Mary Town. She says, uh, I'm picking back up cross stitch after not stitching 30 plus years. Uh, any tips? Um. We did some beginning videos, so those would be good to watch. Um, and those just go over, you know, threads, floss, needles, that kind of thing. So I would kind of refer back to that. But um, the biggest advice I'd give anybody and anything that they do in life, whether it be stitching or even my kids, um, sports and stuff, do what you love. Do what you want to do. Don't do something for somebody else. Like my daughter. It's like dance if you want to dance, but don't do it for me. Do it because you love it. So when you're cross stitching, do what you love. Find a pattern you love. Don't do a pattern just because your friend says do a pattern. And don't do colors just because your friend says. Like the biggest thing for me that I do when I cross stitch is I pick what could what I actually use in my house. What fits my decor. Because if it won't fit in my house, I'm never going to use it. And um, what's the point of making it? Um, so I would say, you know, I've got some beginning videos that might help. Uh, but other than that, do what you want to do. And uh, you've been stitching for about 30 minutes. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up and then let me just finish my stitches and cool. then we will go. So it took about 30 minutes to do the top of the flowers. So super excited that's done. Let me just finish off my stitches. And I'll just leave my needle right on there. And we will move to the front camera before um, I turn around so my face doesn't look funny. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like the extreme close up on her I face. I don't. Okay. I 
Yeah, so um, so now I'm just going to kind of show you guys uh, whips, finishes, all that fun stuff and talk a little bit about Mania. So the first thing I'm super excited about is RFL finally sent the orange thread for this. So this is called Quaker Pumpkin. The designer is The Stitcher Hood. And we used Lori Holt's burlap cloth and we used three colors. We used a brown, a green, and an orange from RFL. So these are now kits on our site. And this might be my personal favorite. I really enjoyed stitching it and I had I struggled with the frame selection quite a bit, but I'm actually really I love just I think the frame just really made it. So I'm super excited that that floss finally showed up. That is the first thing. Now I'm going to show some new patterns that we have. Oops, I spilled them. Of course, I would do that. So we got the Santa's Village patterns by Country Cottage Needleworks. These are older patterns. They've been out a while, but they're super cute. So there's 12 of them, and you can either stitch them individually or you can stitch them as a village and you can look on Instagram and there's lots and lots of pretty pictures. Um, so we got these in. There's 12. We also got a uh, Santa sampler. This is on my Stitch Mania list. So I'm going to be using this as Mania. We also are going to be carrying the Jardin Preve patterns, and we have two that arrived. The rest, um, one's for baby, one's for houses, and a lot of their stuff called patchwork, like they have patchwork Halloween, patchwork Christmas, patchwork whatever, patchwork Easter, patchwork whatever. And then we got this, which I think is cute, sewing room motifs by Tiny Modernist. So that's just some new stuff that we have that I thought you guys might like. And I'm going to show you whips, like what I've been working on. So this is my March Cottage of the Month by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I've been working on this since January. I'm going really slow. So this week I was able to do the flowers and the little um, shamrock and all I have left is this top. And I'm really hoping I have it done for next week because I've been taking way too long to do that. And I did have a question on that. We are using the Chalkboard Black by Witchell and we are using 14 count, not 16 count on this next thing, sorry, I got ahead of myself on the next mm -hmm. thing, but I had an email about it and I'm using 14 count. 14 count is what I use on everything. So this is uh, by Priscilla and Hands On Design. It's called Rose Cottage and I haven't done a thing on it, but I have a big weekend planned and I am going to try to have this part done by next week. So y'all can um, hold me to that. If you want to pause for a second, um, we're getting comments that the focus is blurry. Um, we might just have a dirty lens, so let's try fixing that. Okay, let me know if that looks better, guys. So we are also working on Lori Holt's new pattern. This is, I'm not even telling you the name of it because y'all will start searching and we're not going to show it until done. So this is 10 count Denise is using and this is 14 count white Ada. Hers is Daisy vintage cloth and mine is 14 count just regular Ada. So that's kind of our progress. It's going to be super cute um, when we're done. I don't know when we're going to be done, but we're working as fast as we can on that. So that's another whip. Um, and then I was going to show you Priscilla and Chelsea. Do we have the link in the video? Mm -hmm. So if you click already in the link below, there's a video that the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch did, and it's how to tea dye or coffee dye or whatever you want to call it, um, your Ada cloth. So Terry, who works for us, did this. This is kind of the tea dyed look. And... Um, if you bake it longer, it's darker. So that's just something out there. And this, she just started with white Ada. So if you wanted to watch Priscilla and Chelsea's video, um, that's great because I'm not doing a video on that. Um, I about had an OCD fit when I watched her video because it was so funny because they just like throw the tea in and the coffee. They're just like throwing stuff in, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, really cool effect. And this, I'm super excited to show you. 
This is my framed Be Thankful. So this, um, this is called Be Thankful. It's on our Coming Soon page. It is going to be a kit. I don't think we've made the kits yet. We're waiting on the floss from Arafil, but this is on the burlap. It is a Be Thankful pattern by Country Cottage Needleworks, and I just love it. I love how it came out. I wanted this to be more of like a, it's what? Okay, so it is a kit. It is for sale. Sorry, we have it. Um, this took me about two months, and it's a Country Cottage Needleworks pattern. We hand selected our own Aura fill, so we changed the colors. Um, what you'll get is Aura floss and the cloth. And I really wanted this to be like a sign for my house, like something really big. And when I went to frame it, I wanted to add a mat just to add like another dimension to make it even bigger. But the only mat that I could find that looked good with it was green and I don't like green. So I went with this and I'm happy with how it came out. And so now I'm gonna talk about mania. So what mania is, is there was a Facebook group. It's called mania, M-A-Y-N-I-A. You can join it. I have nothing to do with it. Um, like I don't run it or anything. They started it a couple of years ago and it is basically one start every day for 31 days. So here's my hot mess of stuff that's going to be mania. So this is my start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have 31 bags and in those bags I'm going to already have all the floss, all the fabric. I'm going to do a little thing, a couple things different, but I am going to do 31 projects and we're going to go more into detail like in a week or two, maybe next week of how I'm doing it so that I can be organized. One thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start a couple stitches on each of them and the reason I'm going to do that is because I am very particular and sometimes if I start something if I don't like the way it looks I don't want to be on May 1st starting and saying oh I don't like that fabric stop let me go to the store and find some other DMC or no. so I want to start it I'm just to put like 10 or 20 stitches in make sure I like the color make sure the cloth is working so that when May comes I'm ready to go so next week we're going to be showing you uh, my cute little Way that I'm going to put everything together and I've got a cute little bag. Lori's got the same matching bag that we bought and she's going to do mania too um, and we're going to have a video every day in May. We're going to have to pre-record like a couple of them just because we go to quilt market during that time but we are going to uh, it's not going to be live but it's going to kind of be like how much can Kimberly get done in two hours or three hours or whatever that day like maybe I do an hour one day or maybe I do three hours each day is going to be different how much I can get done how much time I have in my life you know at the beginning I can totally see me doing like five hours and then on the 31st I can totally be, see myself doing like five minutes and then the goal is going to be for me because I always have goals for myself that's like a big thing in my life is like what is your goal of the day I'm always talking to my daughter and my kids about what's your goal for today be a better person or whatever like not be fussy in the morning and not want to get in the car because you had a little party last night in your room and didn't want to go to bed which happened last night um but my goal is going to be how many of the mania starts do I actually finish by the end of 2019 so I'm super excited and um, we, my winners for this week are, they've been notified. Our Monday floss tube winner was Sarah Shear. We've already contacted you. And our Wednesday Quilters Cottage Stitch Along hashtag is Amy M. So uh, she got a $50 gift card. If you want to enter every week, you just um, enter on any social media channel and hashtag Quilters Cottage Stitch Along and just show your progress. Even if you're behind, it's not a big deal. And next week, again, we're going to be doing the bushes and trees and I'll probably do this little black piece just so that I have a starting point so that when I go here it's easier um, and so that's what I have this week I have had a lot of fun I'm glad that I've got a lot of things finishing um, we've got a lot of videos planned for our channel and if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe to Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. If you have any other questions I'm happy to answer and um, we will be back next Wednesday every Wednesday 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Alright. Yes we've got lots of questions so we will ask as many as we can fit into the next 15 minutes. Okay. 
Um, okay, the first one, you know, let me turn on my audio. Uh, first one is from Nancy Rose. She says, did you get the gnomes by Hardine Pride? Yes. Okay. They're on order. Perfect. Or if they're not on order, they are going to be ordered today, but yes. Uh, Gianna was asking, what is the product or item number for the OmniGrid scissors that Kimberly uses? Oh, I don't know. It's the yellow. Just type OmniGrid scissor on Fat Quarter Shop, and they're the yellow handles. Um, I always have a lot in stock because... I literally, I mean, I don't even know how many pairs I have. They're everywhere. They're like in my binding. I have like several things that I use for binding, little bags. I'm like the bag lady. I'm telling you, my daughter's always like, why do you have so many bags? Like if we pack, I always tell her, just put a little bit, just don't. And then she's like, but you got bags everywhere. I'm like, yeah, I do. It's really bad. I have like a bag within a bag within a bag within a bag. Um, and just looking at the comments right now, some people are saying like there should be a quilt version of Mania and actually Kia B is going to be doing uh, mixing, I believe, quilting and cross stitch for her Mania. Yeah, so for Mania you can do, you can mix like apple cake, quilting, you can do whatever you want. You can do 19 stars, you can do 5 stars. You can be you and do what you want to do and do whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do this year the 31 starts so that I can have 31 videos. And I don't think that... Um, Lily wants to come to my house and film me uh, on my sewing machine, so that's why we're not doing sewing, because here she can just set up the machine and walk away, I mean the, the video, and walk away. I don't have like my sewing machine and all my stuff here. Lily, well, we could do it at your house if you really want it. Yeah, I just, I can just imagine Piggy, like, be like, Piggy, Piggy! Oh, so bad. Piggy's great. Um, Vicki Weber was asking, how do you tie off so neatly in the back when changing colors? Um, I believe you showed that in a previous floss tube. Yeah, I show it in a previous floss tube, and I just go under previous stitches and try to just, when I do it, I, I don't pull too tight. I just pull a little bit taut to make sure it's in there and clip. And April Jackson was asking, is there a way to notate which patterns are in color on the black and white patterns do you color before your, uh, before stitching? No, I don't. Um, so... We don't notate that on our site. We do notate like with the DMC colors, um, but some designers do black and white. Some designers do color. We of course do color, um, but I will do a pattern based on if I like it or not. Uh, but I don't do, I don't color it and I don't use highlighter tape. Some people will do highlighter tape or use an actual highlighter. When they finish a pattern, they'll kind of highlight their section. You can kind of find that online. I don't do that because I am clumsy and I would totally highlight all my Ada. So uh, I think it's a great idea if you can not be clumsy. And I'm already clumsy with my bags and my needles and my stuff everywhere that if I added one more thing, my goodness, no. <laughs> it was just a mess today to like get all this together and like when I was putting everything out, I'm like I got a bag here, a bag here, a bag here, and then when I'm done, I got to put it back all in all the bags. It's because I have too many things going at one time. That's what it is. So I'm going to try to really try to wrap up some of these projects so that I don't have things everywhere. Um, Marietta was saying, how's your cross-stitch sewing machine coming along? Can you show it? You already did. Sorry, that was from earlier. But you can show it again. And do we know when this will be available? A month or two. Because there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, we, we don't put a cross-stitch pattern out with a digital image, so I've got to stitch it. I mean, this is like 40 hours in or something crazy. Like, I can stitch as fast as I can stitch, but i got other things going on. So as soon as it's stitched, framed, photoed, it'll be online. So we're stitching, me and Denise, we're stitching as fast as we can. Because we're going to show 10 count on the front and then 14 count on the back, just so you can see the difference. Um, we're using the same thread, though. Um, and April Buckland was saying, uh, will you have links for cross stitch patterns? I cannot find the sewing room motifs. Saints. It's going on live today. So some of that stuff arrived yesterday. So, um, yep, it'll be online today, if not tomorrow, but yes, it will all be online. Okay. And question from Crafting with Lisa Marie. She says, when deciding to purchase any pattern or fabric, I asked myself, oh, if this was a finished piece, would I buy it? Yes, I'd buy it. Uh, so advice from her I guess sorry saw a question mark and added it uh, Regina Langford says I love the sewing room motifs is it available yet yes um, we'll be going online today right yes yep. okay uh, Priscilla and Chelsea say Priscilla's motto is to just throw it in the pot the fabric she dyed looks awesome great motifing yeah she literally just throws it in the pot and I'm like 
oh my god like it's awesome and then they just stir it and then they like crunch it up and they put it on a baking pan and a wax i'm thinking oh my gosh first like i'm a neat freak and i'm very ocd about like i'm like um heart what's his name uh he's the comedian who like howard howie mandel like to where he's like a germaphobe i'm just like that so like i'm like oh my gosh there's like germs and there's like stuff and there's <laughs> like uh yeah but i think it's awesome like i think their fabric is beautiful and i never knew that they hand dyed it when i first started watching them i always just thought oh they have such pretty fabric and i, I believe that video is in our description yeah it's in the description so y'all can watch that yeah so you guys can go see it um and then rach said kim really is a maniac in all caps I am a maniac. I'm crazy. I got so many things going on. Uh, and then Tracy J was asking, in the future, will Lori's vintage cloth be available in half yard, 18 by 36 inch size? No, it will always be in fat quarters, but she has lots of colors coming. So seven that I can think of, seven new colors. And um, we don't have a delivery date yet, but when we have it, we will let you know. And we're still waiting for oatmeal. April, they're now saying May, so. Oh. April, May, sorry. It's coming. Okay, uh, and then question from Robbie Perkins. Can you stitch any pattern on Lori's fabric? I want to do the chalk ones, but can't see the holes on that tiny fabric. Yeah, you can, you can, you can convert it. What you do is you take the stitch count and you divide it by your count. So if, if your stitch count is seven, 70 by 90 and you wanna use Lori's, which is 10 count, you would take 70 divided by 10 and 90 divided by 10 and that would be seven inches by nine inches. If you wanted to stitch it on 14 count, you would take 70 divided by 14 and 90 divided by 14 and that would be your finished size. So that's how you calculate it. Um, and she will have black, um, but you can do whatever you wanna do. That's my motto, do whatever you wanna do. Use whatever thread you wanna use, use whatever cloth you wanna use. You can stitch in hand, you can stitch in Q-snap, you do whatever you wanna do. And I don't always do things the same way. Like these are straight lines. So a lot of this I did stitch in hand just because I'm going across over and over and over. So it is easier to stitch in hand rather than poke. So I do do different things and you're gonna, that's one of the things I wanna do in Mania is just, you'll see how like I might use a different needle. I might, and I'm gonna kinda talk through different things I do. But yeah, I don't always do things the same way. Mm. Question from Cindy Good. She says, are you using 14 count or 16 count for your rose cottage? 14. I always use 14. I don't ever use 16 because my eyes, um, I don't want to say never, but yeah, I don't, <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. Rarely. Um, Sia Joy was saying, does the 14 count end in a smaller size? It does not look as big as the 10 count. Yes, it does. Yes. So, because you got 14 squares to the inch versus 10 squares to the inch. So, if you did 16, that would be even smaller. If you did 18, that would be even smaller. Okay. And then, Rachel was asking, will Fat Quarter Shop be selling the hand dye floss that several of the new patterns suggest? Eventually, maybe towards the end of the year, we're going to try to figure out what brand and start with one brand, see how that does, and then venture out. I'll probably let Priscilla just tell me what she wants me to carry because <laughs> she's always talking about different colors and this red, brick red, or I don't know. So, um, yeah, not we got to get the DMC on, and then after that, we can. Mm -hmm. Get our DMC on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Gianna <laughs> says, what is the product or item number for the... Omnigrid scissors that you use, um, and they're, they're just the yellow ones. Just um, search Omnigrid scissors. And they're just really sharp, and when I clip, the reason I use them for quilting and for cross stitch is at the end, they clip really sharp. So I'm not gonna have, it's gonna give me a really clean back. Which, like I said, nobody's gonna see the back, who cares? But I care, on mine. So it just, and with quilting, it just, real, like when I clip it apart, it's real fast. And I can't let my kids use them because one time, she was quite a couple years ago, I had Emma like cut apart a bunch of stuff and they're so sharp, they were like cutting the fabric. And so then I never asked her again to, um, I never asked her to help me again clip apart because she was clipping apart my fabric. But my, they will, her and Peyton will do my um, triangles on a roll. They will pull that stuff, they love it. And then just a few more questions. Uh, McLam2011 was saying, uh, I want to thank you for your stand on Ada. I can't see well enough for anything else. For people who dislike the feel, I would suggest they wash the fabric and it softens it a lot. 
Um, and she was also wondering who the winner of the four favorites from Nashville was. That is... Do we have it written? Yes, mm -hmm. Sarah Shear. And she, we notified both of the winners this morning before we started. We always do that before um, we start so that if we say your name, you already know how to get a hold of us. Uh, that same person was also saying, I wish there was a quilt tube for quilters. Um, so, I mean, there technically is. But it's just yeah, they just don't call it quilt tube. But we, on Fridays, every Friday, we have a quilting live stream. And we have lots of quilt videos on our Fat Core Shop channel. And this week and next week, we're going to be doing our quilting um, YouTubes on Thursday because tomorrow is my birthday. And tomorrow, I'm going out of town Friday. Emma has a solo in Dallas at 3 o'clock. So um, tomorrow is going to be Thursday. And then the next week, we're doing on Thursday because Lily's going to be out of town. But tomorrow's my birthday. I'm going to be 45. And as my niece says, I'm half dead. Because... <sighs> No, my niece is like really uh, funny, and she says things that you're just like, what? And at Christmas, she told my she told my sister-in-law we were outside and they were doing. My daughter was doing aerials and she was doing um, cartwheels, and she's 50, so my sister-in-law's 50, and she was like, oh, you're half dead, and I was like, what does that mean? And she said, well, because like you'd be dead at 100, so I think I'll probably live to 90. So as of tomorrow, I'll be half dead, and that's okay. Because I've lived a good life. If I died tomorrow, I'd be fine. Not really, oh. but um, but um, but no. I mean, like, yeah. I'm just being funny. I'm just being my normal, like, kooky self. But yeah, I'll be 45 tomorrow. Yes. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, confetti cannon. Hang on. Oh, confetti for me. Wait. I'm sorry, guys. I disabled the confetti cannon for this video because I'm sorry. <laughs> I let me see if I can get it back. I don't know if it's gonna play correctly. Nope, it didn't play correctly. It okay. did! We kind of, well, it, it it went black, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, we had a confetti cannon. Okay, a uh, few more questions here um, from Shelly Fry. She says, will the blue work patterns be he here today as well? Yes, the study in blue by Sue Hillis is online already. Yes, study in blue is online. And we have sold out a lot of the stuff we got at Nashville. Because you can only take so many. Like, there's a limit when you go in. Like, you can't buy a hundred because you buy all the stuff, and that's also not nice to all the other stores who go. So a lot of them are already sold out, but, like, last night I've already ordered them. Um, we order that stuff daily. Some of the stuff is exclusive to Nashville. So, for example, it's called Madame... Let me tell you. These. Madame Chantilly or whatever. These are Nashville exclusives, meaning that you can only get them in Nashville, and then starting in April, we can reorder them. So we will reorder these. These are going to, I'm going to do these for Mania. I am super excited. I'm trying to find out on this one, like, what cloth will look the closest. She doesn't list what cloth she used, um, but of course, I'm going to use Ada. But yes, so some of them, you know, you, you can get again, but not until April. And that's just like a good thing because then the stores get a benefit of going to the, gives them a reason to go to Nashville to buy stuff so that they can have exclusive stuff for their customers. Um, and then a question from Cindy. She says, will the 8x8 Q snap be big enough for the Quaker pumpkin? No. 11 by 11. If you were going to do it on 14 count, it might, but oh my gosh, this looks so good. Like this is just, oh my gosh, I just, I literally did this in two days too. Two days. I did it at Lori's house too. When she was video, I just, oh, I. That's true. Yeah, I did. I yeah, that. Lily was with me when I was making it, yeah. I, I just, yeah. Some things you make and you think, oh, like you, when you're making it, you're like, oh, whatever. And then when you like get it done, you're just like, and I'm so glad that that day I was so picky at the frame store because I thought they were going to kill me. The lady always knows when I come in, she's like, oh my gosh, this lady's coming. They're super nice, but she knows that I'm going to get out every frame and she'll just start. Last time she started just already pulling stuff and she, they'll tell me, oh, these are new frames. You haven't seen these before. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then Rosetta was asking, will you have the DMC floss in a pack to go with the kits instead of having to buy them separately? No. Uh, if we kit it, it'll come in the kit. For Mania, since I'm doing 31, I'm just going to list every single one that I buy. But we're going to do some thread packs. But we might be doing thread packs with Cosmo instead of DMC just because um, we might. I don't know. But yeah, probably individually just to start, just because, unless it's a kit. But we'll have it in the video on our mania. We're going to have it where you can just click. 
so that it's easy for you because um, that way you don't have to think because I don't like to think because let me tell you pulling all this stuff together for mania like I feel like I'm gonna spend 20 hours just getting my stuff together which is like I don't even have an extra hour in the day much less 20 in a week so it's quite hilarious Okay, and last question from Marjorie. She says, will you be getting more of the happy stitching pattern from Sue Hillis? I see it has already sold out. Yep, I already ordered it last night. Okay. Ordered it last night at 10, 10 o'clock or something like that. As soon as I got home, maybe it was 9.30. So, yes. So, thank you for watching Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. And make sure to like us, subscribe, and enter our uh, giveaway every week by doing a hashtag quilters cottage stitch along and i will see you guys next wednesday and if you're a quilter i'll see you guys tomorrow so have a great day